have you seen the musical Hamilton, Minister? Oh, do you know what? I haven't. And I, it's one of my greatest regrets. I, I did have tickets to go and see it, but obviously um, cancelled because of COVID. When, when it comes back, can I advise you to go and see it? It's a, great, it's a great show. And there's a song in it called The Room Where It Happens. And it's possibly the greatest song ever written about politics because it says you need to be in the room where it happens. And the truth is on this, ministers uh, from DCMS have not been in the room where it happens, have they? Well, we were not in the uh, negotiations over um, uh, visas and work permits, no. And, uh, you know, that what's becoming clear, I think, from this, this session is that the essential reason, perhaps, why uh, touring for musicians and others has not been sorted and isn't getting sorted, essentially, is because within government, home office ministers don't care and culture ministers don't count. That's true, isn't it? No, I disagree with that. I don't think, I mean, and, and, I, and I take issue with, you know, as much as I um, wildly respect you as a, um, a politician and a musician and, and your views on this, I, I, I think you're barking up the wrong tree when you think that this is some kind of, um, this is some kind of ideological issue on behalf of the Home Office. I mean, I think the Home Office would have um, uh, been very interested in the visa proposals that the EU were putting forward if they were um, if, if there were firm guarantees, if they weren't, if they were actually binding, which they weren't, if they delivered what we needed, which they didn't, and if they didn't ask in exchange for us to sign up to something that no other G7, no other um, big nation has ever signed up to with the EU. I mean, it, it's not an ideological thing that it's a common sense position.